Let's take a look at the actions one can take to prevent a disastrous blowout. The proximity of an anticlinal formation is a strong hint of a high pressure zone. If the geology is familiar, the team should proceed with extra caution when approaching this zone. When stopping the well circulation, a drop in ECD can be an inevitable consequence. Being this close to the high pressure zone, overbalance can be very low at the bottom of the well. The small drop in ECD is therefore enough to cause a small influx. When circulation stops, the mud will gradually settle in the tanks of the mud system. As the overflow gradually gathers in the active pit, it can be challenging to monitor volumes and detect the small influx. But if monitored closely, a slight deviance may still be detected when comparing the trend to previous connections. When the connection is complete, circulation recommence. The small influx observed in the mud is brought towards the surface. When exposed to atmospheric pressure in the shaker room, the gas is finally released from the mud. This causes gas readings to increase. Knowing the risk involved, the driller is closely monitoring both the active pit and the gas levels in the shaker room. Adding the two indicators together, he immediately reports and notes the situation. As the drill bit enters the permeable high pressure formation, a drilling break occurs. ROP increases. This is another hint from the well that can serve to confirm any suspicion that the high pressure zone has been perforated. Shortly after, the MWD tool fails. Drilling cannot continue until the tool has been replaced. Following routine, a flow check is then performed to prepare for tripping out. Because of the continuous circulation, the ECD is kept high enough to maintain overbalance. As a result, mud volumes remain constant and the flow check reports no abnormalities. Even though the driller is taking caution and tripping slowly, a swab may still occur under these challenging conditions. The driller detects the swab as a small deviance in the trip tank volume. Following routine, tripping is then stopped, followed by a new flow check. However, the influx is now held down by a settled mud column and is not affected by the circulation. Again. The flow check shows no abnormalities, but the incident is still reported, allowing extra precautions to be taken at the next complete circulation. To prevent further complications, the driller chooses to circulate the mud while tripping the next five stands. When the repaired drill string is run back down the hole, the team is now aware of the potential risk. Performing the following circulating, they are therefore taking the appropriate actions. When the influx is approximately 1,000 metres below the seabed, instructions are given to close the BOP. Circulation is then routed over the kill and choke lines, allowing for safe handling of the influx.